We've all been waiting for this. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people have been waiting. Two million pre-orders. They've been waiting to find out what their cars would get, what their Cybertrucks, their pickups would have, how much power, how much performance, what are the motors, what are the specifications. Finally, we know what we think we know based on leaks from Tesla, what the actual power and performance of the Cybertruck will be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Yes, I did order a Cybertruck. Um, even though I ordered it on the same day, my order was like 30,000, which is crazy. But I think that might be because I'm in Australia. So they didn't prioritize orders internationally. They prioritized American or North American orders first. But anyway, we've seen a leak from people who apparently worked or are working on the Cybertruck. They said it will have the same motor setup as the Tesla Model X Plaid. So three motors, tri-motor version, obviously 1,020 horsepower. So how fast will the Cybertruck actually go based on this powertrain? Well, in the Model X, it has a bit more power than what Tesla say it does. This is kind of a cool thing about the, the, the Tesla Model X Plaid and the Model S Plaid. They say 1,020 horsepower, but the truth is when you dyno test the Model X Plaid and the Model S Plaid, they actually have closer to 1,100 horsepower, which is very unusual. I've never personally seen this in an internal combustion car. Due to drivetrain losses, the power is generally 20% lower than advertised. You'll find this with Ford Mustangs, with you know just any type of car that's petrol, gasoline, or diesel. They have a fair bit less power on the dyno at the wheels versus what they do at the flywheel. However, the like I said, the Plaid has more power. So that's the reason that it's so damn fast. How fast is it? Real world testing, zero to 100 or zero to 62 miles an hour, 2.6 seconds or 2.7, depending on your road surface. Either way, that's just ridiculously fast for a car that big. But of course, a Cybertruck will be heavier, probably about a thousand pounds heavier, meaning approximately three seconds from zero to 62 miles an hour. Will we see a quad motor version? I think we will, from what I've heard, there'll be a tri-motor version, this will be the Plaid, then there'll be, well, this will be the Plaid motors from the Model X, but then I think what Tesla plan on doing from what I've been hearing is having a four-motor version, which will be the Plaid plus an extra motor, which would be, I don't know, I mean, that could be insanely scary in a car this big, but anyway, either way, it's pretty exciting to think about it. What else do we know about the Cybertruck? Well, more details were revealed, one of them, I've got to say, unfortunately, was a bit disappointing for me. I've been going on about how much I love the idea of having the ramp built into the tailgate. But unfortunately, that feature apparently will not make it into production, at least not for the first six months. The ramp is not in the tailgate. So yeah, bit of a bummer on that. But one of the other things is the turning radius is amazing. People are saying, people who are working on the Cybertruck, we've already seen that. The turning radius is apparently the same as a Tesla Model Y is insane plus apparently it feels more luxurious than a model s and a model x and that's partly due to the fact that the suspension is more comfortable than a model s and a model x said matthew donegan or ryan matthew donegan ryan at matthew dr so if the suspension is this comfortable that's an amazing feat because it, everyone who's driven a pickup truck knows the suspension is not very nice one of the reasons for this pickup trucks are made to be utilitarian they're basically made to carry weight in the back. But if you're going to carry weight in the back, you've got to make that suspension in the back be able to handle that weight. If it handles that weight, therefore it has to be more rigid. And so you get this real bumpy ride. I mean, pickup trucks, pretty much all of them don't have anywhere near the comfort of, say, an equivalent SUV, which is not made to carry all that weight. Apparently, Tesla's been working really hard on getting the suspension to handle heavy loads and to be compliant and comfortable at the same time. And it's apparently got something to do with the air suspension. Can't really confirm this. We're gonna to have to wait for reviewers and critics to get the car in the real world, but that's really kind of nice to hear that you could drive the car as a daily driver, big car to do that, but you could, and it would be a comfortable vehicle to drive. Now, what else do we know? Well, top speed for the Model X Plaid is actually 149 miles an hour. I'm gonna guess it'll be similar for the Cybertruck. Now there's one other feature that apparently we all thought that the frunk, right? We all thought it was gonna be small. We saw the images, looked like the frunk was pretty small, but someone has climbed into the frunk, they're five foot seven tall, and they were able to lay down flat in the frunk. 
that's that's impressive. Launch event. When is it actually going to happen? There's a lot of speculation. People believe that it will be the 21st of November. And if you're going, then that'll be, that'll be an exciting event. There's still a lot of anticipation here. We'll finally find out the true official price, but it's believed the price for this version, the plaid version of the Cybertruck is 75,000 US dollars. Considering the size of it, it's, I think, a, a really fair price. The size, the power, the performance, the towing capacity, uh, everything about this truck, I think, I think it makes it quite good value. I was expecting a higher price than that. Will there be a cheaper version, a dual motor version? Apparently there will. Apparently there will be a dual motor version, which will cost closer to 65,000 US dollars. But either way, we don't really know the price. We just know the powertrain. I think that's kind of cool to have that information. Battery pack size in the Model X, by the way, it's a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack. Of course, it doesn't use 4680 battery cells. So the Cybertruck will get 4680 cells and a significantly bigger battery pack. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Is this kind of good news? Is it bad news? Guys, let me know if you're actually still gonna follow through with your Cybertruck order. And if the price is what I suggested, 75,000 US dollars for the Plaid drivetrain, will you go ahead with your purchase? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.